All right, folks, we're starting off with a global volcano for Saturday Night Speedway 145 for race one of qualifier number one. And unfortunately, this peach fell off the ground. Oh, and that is Ray of Light here, absolutely taking this course by storm. Doing a great job, staying on it so far. Grabs the double item box. You see a lot of players actually not even able to grab those double item boxes, doing oh, an yeah. amazing job. Using the tilt controls, I love to see it, honestly. I love to see it as well, man. It reminds me of the Nintendo Wii Mario Kart game. Oh yeah. Where no. I used the Wii Wheel on that thing so much. And here you got Dead Eye Thing here in 10th place. Ooh, grabs a star, gonna opt to take the left path. The right path is actually a little bit faster blue than shell. going off the glider section. If he didn't have that star, that blue shell, would have ruined his day, but he's doing a fantastic job. Floating his way into the next item box. Low Fry Husband here now. Got a golden mushroom in hand. Ops to pop it. Jackie Wars will be the target of that blue shell. Hey, he's still in the front. Look at the lead that he had before the blue shell. Tell the minimap, he was in a really good spot. Blackout here, not that far behind, but gets fired out by funny Day. Fire is such an extremely strong item. I feel like Firefly was one of those one of those items that actually needs a little bit of a nerf in some aspects. Ooh, you know, nice maybe hit. maybe not that many. Great option from Blackout to red out funny name, but then just gets bumped to the side. Almost gets dragged out. That green shell that funny name had just disappeared somehow. And there he is, the 32-time champion himself. Up to grab only a single item. And he has those 10 coins. Tell me a little bit about why you want 10 coins and why they're so useful. Oh, I will definitely tell you all about that, but I mean, just have to make a quick mention of how Jack Moore somehow was able to use that boomerang to hit up oh. my name as a shot comes in and disrupts the battlefield. Yeah, and we saw that golden uh, peach actually in a dodge, and that is JoJo in Woo! first place, and she will be getting first in the very first race of qualifier number one. Mario Party King in second, and Funny Name in third. What a great show. We didn't even see JoJo prior to that until just now. So bided her time, probably bagged the track, and just waited for the opportune moment to take first, and it was golden. Yeah, they did an amazing job there. I mean, Getting a shock dodge in a bullet bill is one of the most satisfying things in this video game, in my opinion. I yeah. don't know if there's many things that you think no, no, that I could agree. top it, yeah. because just having that shock come down, you're flying past the competition, grabbing first place on the very first race, and they actually came out here from out of town to compete with us, so that is amazing to see. A really good start and a really good just, you know, shaking off the rush. You're here at the HyperX Arena. You got the crowd. You got everyone cheering for you. It's a really good start to your night. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, just getting that first start off right there, it's going to set you up really well, but you still have to be consistent for the next three set of races. Yeah. And we are going to race two of four, because in qualifiers, you have four races. In semifinals and grands, we have six races. And to answer your question earlier, we talked about the coins. Yes. If you get 10 coins, you are increasing your max speed so you can be faster than what you currently can start at at zero coins as we go into Dragon Driftway. Yes, so you're going to be going faster than the person who has five coins. If you have nine, you're going to be going substantially faster. If you're in a straight line right here, this guy got nine coins, this guy got five, you're going to be way in front of the competition Yep. if you are able to grab those. So don't think that the coins are just there for aesthetic reasons. Try and get to that 10 point, 2.5% top speed boost and you'll be doing a way better job trying to, you know, catch up with mushrooms and using these items a lot more proficiently. But we are on Dragon Driftway, which has one of my favorite no item oh. shortcuts in the game. Unfortunately, Mario Party King getting dragged out by that green for fun and dragged out, but I believe, by JoJo with that banana to the RMS Breezy oh. over here in four. RMS Breezy, we were having a wonderful conversation about Marvel movies down there at the bar. Oh, nice. Actually, well, a really, really nice guy. Awesome, awesome. That's some amazing Ooh, I'm not to cut. Ooh, blackout here. Gotta get boomerang from behind. Uses the red, lands it. You saw those rotating greens. I'm surprised it actually landed. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Remember, B is for break, which is also your best friend. Do not get too close to those oh, drags. Oh, back in the shot. Ooh, 
But what's also going to be your best friend is using the bad camera, the yes. X button, because you want to know what's behind you before you decide to throw an item forward to take out an opponent. You want to make sure that there's no potential danger that can come from your behind. Exactly. That back camera is actually so useful. You can tell who has what item, if you want to hold an item, if you want to roll items. Right there. Look at that. You exactly. The danger. Beautiful. Beautiful. It right there. You could have told you could have told yourself, hey, I don't need the drag because you saw the red knot coming towards you. So you don't have to worry about it being destroyed by some outside interference. Exactly. And then you can throw it forward, disrupt the person in front of you. Funny name's gonna opt to roll for two more items, which are actually really good. But on Dragon Ooh. Play, on an inward oh, bike, you, you are can't. not able to take the no, uh, no item shortcut you and shot comes it's just down. Very difficult. Really? I didn't think it was gonna be possible. I am not consistent at it, but I have been able to do it before, it's just never in the lobby. But All it right. is possible, it's way more difficult. All right, we are coming into the last section of Dragon Driftway. Mario Party King avoids that banana by just an inch. Throws back Ooh. the bomb, goes into the double item box, has Ooh. triple shroom, Look avoids the green. The Jaguars gets them. another first place. Jaguars in first place, my name in second, and Mario Party King in third. JoJo was in first the last race. I don't know where she ended up in, but these are the top three competitors that you're most likely going to see being consistently within the top six. Yeah, I mean, Mario Party King playing phenomenally. Jackie Waters once again playing great, being able to take down Funny Name. Even, I mean, Funny Name's doing a great job switching up his loadouts, especially playing in the inward bike loadout. The JDX loadout is, like, for him to be able to just swap from one to another, because I try to swap, and it's just impossible. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. I can't swap to outward drifting. Just really? No. It's so easy. It is easy, but for me, because I've been so accustomed to motion controls on the Wii wheel, on the Mario Kart Wii, and that style of drifting, it's That's hard funny. for me to revert. That's interesting. That's interesting because you know it is the more like common way to drive. I thought you know it's like uh, it, it, how would you compare that? You know, right? Like riding a bike to something else. Yeah, riding a bike to riding a, a bike to probably riding ice skates. There you go. I, I, I really, yeah, okay, I can see that. Okay, a little bit, good, a little good bit. comparison. I like that. Where do you want to go next? Ooh, I want to go a little bit of Tower Harbor. Tower Harbor, Ribbon Road. Road. Not bad. Not good, good choice. I love this good track. Choice. I, I do. like it. Very unique. Very difficult to pull off some of those shortcuts. Oh yeah, some of the hardest shortcuts in the game are on this track because they are high risk, high reward, and I feel like a lot more Mario Kart tracks need that. The high risk, high reward, you got to debate Maybe whether the on, you want to go around it or do you want to take those. That depends if the DLC will allow us to have those riskier shortcuts. Oh. As you can see, how many people just burnt out with Mario Party King? Oh, he's One, laughing. Two, three. Yeah, Mario Party King, come on. You're a veteran here. Also, just to let you all know, go on the Twitch chat. We can pull them up and see your feedback live on the screen. Don't forget to do that. Yeah, we'll be able to shout you out, and you'll be able to see your name right there on the stream. It's really cool. It's really awesome. Something new that we've just been doing. And I uh, would love to see what you guys are thinking. Who do you want to win in this qualifier? But right now, we got Flo Fry Husband. Oh! Took the trick too far wide and will be flying off. But it's just the first lap. Don't worry about it. The we game gives more. you good items. Cash back up. A bomb comes out. Yeah, he avoids a bomb. Potential Ooh. hazard. Oh! Look at that. RMS3, he just flies through all this chaos. Yeah, that green shell actually landed on two players. Don't know who they were, but that is so sad whenever that happens. John the Wizard, look at him. He's dearly focused right now. He is not letting anything deter him from this race. Yeah, Young the Wizard has been coming back pretty consistently after taking a little bit more of a break. And he's been playing very consistent. I'd love to see him get into Grand Finals. But look at that lead between the Yoshi and the Link. Who is that in first and second place? Oh my god, the red shell actually goes around Young the Wizard. RMS Breezy, though, gonna get double redded because of the red going around him. Shot comes down, but he's gonna get an item going into this next section. I would opt to hold on to it until this next part of the track where you can use it and go through it recently. Oh, he almost ran into the red oh, shell, but gets slammed matter. into by a star. That was just the unfortunate luck of the RNG gods here. But look, Young the Wizard did this. Is he going to take out the Wario? It looks like he did. Oh my so he's got to this bill, and you see Joswald in first. Oh my goodness. Joswald's going to be able to take first place without a problem. The hype is coming out of him. Funny name in second, 
And then we're going to see JoJo in third. Nice. Nice. A second top three placement for JoJo is going to set her up really well going into semifinals later on. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be the overall points of all the qualifiers and every race or inset qualifiers. So yeah. even if you didn't do too well, guess what? Stay because Stay. you still could be in second chance battle. Yeah. So if you didn't do too well, chillax, get some game time, get some food. Food here is remarkable. Get a drink at the bar. Remember to tip your bartender is always a great thing to do, the right thing to do. They make amazing drinks here. Uh, gamer specials, they're amazing, awesome. But we got qualifier number two on deck. We got Batter Cookie, Immortal, Piper, Arctic May, Riley, Phantom, Starboy16, Dr. Iggy, Ice Jin, uh, Logan Layout, and Kyle Layout. A little bit of uh, brothers there is looking like. Pretty cool. Right. Not bad, not bad. But if you heard your name, head to the hype tone right now so we can get you started qualifier number two and get these races going Bound as we go into the next race, the last race of this qualifier. We're going oh. to Cheese Land. I actually enjoy Cheese a lot. This is probably one of my more ideal bagging tracks, which is a track that you don't necessarily have to just start racing on immediately. You can go back, grab items, try and grab a shock, and yeah. catch back up pretty easily because there are so many shortcuts on this track. Oh, 100%, dude. Like, it's easy pickings for some folks to climb right back up, whether it be with the items or if you know the Exactly. Exactly. But well, we're going to be starting off JoJo, one of the more uh, primed racers you're seeing. The only person who is bagging right now grabs a few mushrooms. Not the most ideal loadout starting it off, but we got Ray of Light, the one and only, looking pretty good right now. Getting a little bit bumped away from the Waluigi, but now we're over to Young the Wizard. And he is in the mid-pack. He's got to be careful. A lot of bananas in front of him. Got to be careful. Yeah. Space yourself out and you'll be fine. Oh, uh, narrowly avoids. Nice. That line of doom Look and has that. a very good He saved out. his mushroom because he knew this ramp was going to be here, which is going to allow him to surpass so many opponents. And he's using the ghost. But he's got to be careful. Look at the mini map of what's happening. Oh. But he can't dodge if he really wants to. But it's not going for him. He went for the Yoshi. He was in first place for quite some time. I'm surprised it didn't go for Young the Wizard. But whenever you're in first place, going into the second to the third lap, you've got to be careful because Shock may be in play, especially if you're seeing how far away last place is. And then Jackie Bars is also right on his tail. He doesn't know exactly what he has. Actually, he does now with the single mushroom. He only knows that one eye. He doesn't know what he has. Exactly. exactly. So he can force the single oh. mushroom away, throws one banana forward. Does oh, it land? He got, I think he got the snipe. That is insane. Jackie War stone faced uh, killer here with oh, the but look what his, Look what his efforts is going to do if he's not aware of what's happening. Oh, I think he knows that. I think he's just going to be able to take the full force of it and not Never worry about much. Mind. He did not look at the minimap. And oh. there's a shock. Are you kidding me? But we also see someone in a ghost in first place. He has triple greens as well. That's going to look like an easy win for that dry bones in first right now. Mario Party King trailing right behind Jack Uwars. Does not land the trick, and he's going to be right behind him. Oh. The green smart bounce does not land, and Mario Party King will be getting second. And look, who else? Oh my, party my name God! In first? Who else? And Joswald in third. I don't who know. else? My funny name in first. Let's be real here. I really, I didn't expect funny name to be the one in the ghost in, on the dry bones. I was hoping it was going to be a new racer or someone new, different or otherwise, but. You know, congrats on funny name. All right, good job, good job. Give him a little golf clap, you know. A little golf clap, you know. <laughs> well, you convinced uh, the audience to do it. There you go, there you go. <laughs> you know, he's the best in the biz. He knows what he's doing, but at the I same time. I mean, with 32 time, championships, and like with one other player, uh, Glitchtastic, pretty much almost being half of all SNS championships right yeah. there. Dude knows exactly what he needs to yeah, do. Yeah, he, he knows these tracks like the back of his hand. So got to give credit where credit is due, even though you like to see the new racers come in and beat them. There were a ton of great new faces that really showed up and really performed in this one. Absolutely, and we do have the highlights. Let's go ahead and show off the highlights of where everything transpired. You saw the shock happen on lap three of Grumble Volcano, but Jack Lars was just in the box enough to hold himself his position. But funny name over here, getting shocked out on Dragon Drift Play, playing as shocks. the inward drifting 
vehicle. And then burnt out over here by Mario Party King, and I believe that's JoJo. Uh, he's laughing. You can see the smiles. RMS Breezy nearly avoiding that red, but because he slowed down. Did that same Wario take out two racers? My goodness. And then Jackie Wario's getting hit by the blue. I thought I was about to roast him for not stopping before the glider section so he could get up back I to mean, top speed. I mean, technically you can still roast him because he didn't end up in top three. He did, he did, but at the same no, he time. Didn't. Oh, no, he didn't? No. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no. that's crazy. All right, yeah, we can still roast crazy. him. All right, never mind. And remember, just as a reminder, folks, you go on the Twitch chat, you type stuff in the Twitch chat, we can bring it on screen. You'll live. be right here. Your face, not your face, your name, your chat, and then we can shout you out and read it on here right now. Really cool thing that we got going on here. A lot of, a lot of support for DJ Goobin and DJ Doom. Which uh, was not in this one. It's not in the next qualifier. Where is he at? Uh, no, I don't see it. Oh, Let maybe we're blind. Maybe it's going under another alias. Who knows? It's Who possible. Knows? It's possible that they're going in their alias. Uh, Either way, still phenomenal job. We do have the scores. Let's go ahead and throw up the scores right now. Party name in first place with 49 points. So he wow. ended up in a lot of top spots. Mario Party King, up? second place with 43. Jack and Mario, third place with 41. JoJo, fourth place with 39. Joshua, fifth place with 37. And then that 10 point difference going from Ooh. six and all that. RMS Breezy at 27 points in sixth place. Gun the Wizard tied for that sixth place spot. Blackout, 25 points in eight. Flow Flo Free Husband, ninth place. Dead Eye Thane in 10th. Raccoon King in 11th. And Ray of Light.